able to repent. Our brothers gotta realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. Take a soul, stand it fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We tryna elevate. Enoch or Elijah, or the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not trapping even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Such a bloody scene, why she make it clean? For the husband come to clean. These women are tired of eating. So I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purging that spiritual house of all heaven. They think the tired, they arms are tired. Brothers, where you at? Teach our sisters and brothers how to repent. All right, check that flower out. Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? You probably thought that we were the Christian church standing before you. We are the church of God. That's right. We are the true church. We are here to teach the laws of God. We are not, give me Amos 3 and 3, hold that, give me Amos 3 and 3. We are not affiliated with any other organization. Right. We are the work of the Lord. That's right. We stand for the Lord. That's right. We cannot stand with these other politicians. We cannot stand with these other uh, forward thinkers. We cannot stand with these community developers. Because what do they want to do? They want to fatten their pockets. Bring it out. What does the male want to do? She want to encourage you to explore your sexuality. Bring it out. Bring it out. Teaching against the laws of God. That's right. God honors marriage. And that's what we stand for. Marriage between a man and a woman. That's right. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together 
except they agree. You two over there walking with the baby. You two cannot be on one accord unless you agree, right or wrong. I can't hear you come across the street, bro. All praises. So that means you agree. And if you wasn't married, that means you didn't agree. That's confusion in the midst. And you wouldn't be able to walk together. That's right. Because you would want to explore your sexual desires, and she maybe want to explore what she wants to explore. Bring it up. We can't walk together like that no longer as a people. That's right. It's time for us to examine ourselves, to understand what evil is, to understand what iniquity is. That's right. Shalom, my brother. Peace be unto you. How you doing? Do you understand that you're an Israelite? Do you understand that you are an Israelite according to the Bible? I'm sorry? No, You, according to the Bible, your nationality, what would the world call you today? Like if you fill out an af uh, application? Check this sign out right there. This sign actually explains to the people of the world who were misnamed their true identity. Derived straight from the Bible, we show and teach our people who they are. Because it's important for you and I to know who we are. Bring it out. Because we don't know who we are, what happened to us? Give me Jeremiah 17. Bring it out. Because we don't know what happened to us. I mean, I'm sorry, because of what happened to us, we don't know who we are. That, way, that means we don't know where we're going. We got to get back on track. We have to stand up, right? Read Jer uh, Jeremiah 17. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. What's the heritage? So, something that was given to you, your background, right? Information and knowledge of who you were. That's one aspect of your heritage. Another aspect of your heritage is the laws, customs things that you must do, right? Those are some customs or the heritage that was taken from us. That's right. The knowledge of you being from the tribe of Judah, because you said you were an African American, that was taken from you. Right. The Lord prophesied that that would happen to you. It would happen to me. It would happen to everyone under the sound of my voice. That's right. Right? Read that again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So the Lord telling the prophet Jeremiah, look, even you, put this in a book, even you going to uh, remove from your heritage, right? That happened to us. When did that happen to us? When did we get removed from our heritage? The, the language that we spoke, the clothes that we wear, the customs that we held. When was that? Absolutely. So you understand that slavery happened to our people, right? Let's get that in Deuteronomy. Uh, finish that up. Finish that up. Bring it out. That I gave thee. The Lord gave us our heritage. He called us Israel. Israel means a prince that has power with God. That's right. But the world called you black. That's general. That's basic. That's a misnomer. That's a curse. We suffer the curses. And because we don't know who we are, because we don't see God in each of us, we'll kill each other at the drop of a dime. We think that brother right there, who is that on the sound over here? The churches teach us, who, who is this brother right here? Who is that? Yeah, the world teaches us that that's Jesus, but we don't find that image in the Bible. That's right. We got that image in our head, so we'll never do anything against who hold that image. Understand? Our heritage was taken from us, so we don't see each other as the gods that the Lord said that we are. Absolutely. You can prove how Christ looked in the Bible. We just have to read. The ability to seek and discern for ourselves was taken from us. Right? It's time to come back. Continue to read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. What are we doing here in America? Serve thine enemies. Who's serving their enemies today? Right now. This was written as prophecy. But if you relate it to today, because a lot of people say the Bible isn't relevant for today. But the Lord said we will be removed from our heritage and we will serve our enemies. Who's doing that in the earth today? Who, who's serving their enemies? A lot of people. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to let the Bible explain it to you in explicit detail so there's no question. So you don't say that I'm saying this. But pull it out the Bible. We're going to serve our enemies. 
Hold that. You can drop Amos if you're still holding Amos. And let's go to Deuteronomy 28. And let's find out who these enemies are or who's serving their enemies. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. You heard that? Who serves in the earth their enemies? Like me and you say we at odds, right? In the world, if you in one gang and I'm in another gang, we'll be enemies, right? I have to serve an enemy for the want of something. I have to come to you for something. Who's doing that in the world? Who's going to their enemies in the world for something? Nobody? Uh, who owns the gas station or who owns the CTA? Understood, understood. All right, read from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So, so the scripture says we will serve our enemies. This is talking to the Israelites. The scripture said because we did not serve our God, we will have to serve our enemies, right? Read. In hunger. In hunger. You just went to McDonald's. You're sipping on a pop. I'm assuming that a meal came with that, right? Just a sandwich? Sandwich and a pop. You went to McDonald's. Who owns McDonald's? Do our people own McDonald's? We got franchises, but if you go back to the establishment and who set the order, who set that order in the earth? Who owns McDonald's? Who is the hot top man in McDonald's? What race of people? It's not our people. So he said, if you are hungry, you have to go to your enemies to satisfy that need. We have to serve him. We work jobs and we pay them funds. We're serving our enemies for the want of food. That's right. Now, Lion. think about the earth again. What establishments? Lion. Look down the street at Burger King. Who owns the Burger King? Is it our people? Lion. We're hungry. We want to go somewhere to eat. We want to go to the grocery store. Do we go to our people? For groceries? Who do we go to? What nation of people owns those establishments? Not us. One thing you're going to learn is that the blacks, Hispanics, and the native Indians are the children of God. You may have come to a, a corner store that was owned by a Mexican, but if you look at our whole people, we don't own resources. We don't own the logistics to bring the products from the warehouses or from the farms. We don't out. own the farms. We don't own these things. As a means of feeding ourselves, we depend on somebody else to bring it to the grocery store for us so that we can go buy it and eat it. We don't own land to grow our own food. We have to go to another nation. We have to go to who the Bible says is our enemy. That's right. right? Read. And in thirst. And in thirst you're drinking that. Right? That came from McDonald's. Water, Aquafina, Pop, Pepsi. Who owns these different establishments? Do we control them? Do our people? Not at all. Read. And in nakedness. The clothes we all wear. We have to serve our enemies. Mean we have to go purchase them from another nation. The Lord said this will happen to you and I. If we did not keep his commandments. Read. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. I'm going to go back to the one of all things. The permission to drive on the streets. A driver's license. Who do we have to go to for that? Bro, for an education. Who do we have to go to to get an education? Do we go to our forefathers, our foremothers, our grandpa? We have to go to an establishment, right? And they have to teach us. Who owns those establishments? Or who sits on a board of directors at those establishments? Who writes the, the laws and the motion to say what's direct the curriculum, actually? Who writes those? Is it our people? Bring it on. For toilet tissue. The one of all things, bruh. He said we're going to serve our enemies because we didn't serve him. And that's what we are here to do. We are here to inform the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that it's time to stand up for the Lord and serve Him. 
He got all these things in store for us. We have not one resource. The only resource we could possibly have is talent. And they market that for their uses. Bring it up. You can't even own a record company. You can't. Without them having their hand in it. Bring it up. You can't make a beat. You can't do anything without them. You, you can't tell jokes. You can't dance without them. You have to go through them for everything. Right? And he, the same enemy that we serve, should do what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Look at these signs. What do you see on some of these brothers' necks? Bring right here. Out. Right here especially. What do you see on his neck? Bring it out. Bring it out. Jeez. That's called a yoke of iron. That happened to whom? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The Lord showing you a sign. Because your heritage was taken from you. He said, I'm going to put all this stuff in a book. And when they're ready to wake up, it's going to be revealed to them. Right. And they ain't going to have no other choice but be like, you know what? Reflecting on history, that only happened to us. Right. And the Lord said that will only happen to Israel. Yes. Put two and two together, brother. We are the children of Israel. Right. It's time for us to come back to our heritage. Right. It's time for us to stand up for our God, for our people. It's time for us to keep the commandments. That's right. Until he have destroyed thee. We are destroyed as a people. We are absolutely destroyed. Brother, what are we how are we destroyed as a people? Ex give me some examples of how our people are destroyed. I'm sorry? We, want, we got greed. We got a greed problem. For greed, they want attention. All right, we get destroyed from them things. All right, okay, that's one aspect of being destroyed. But let me explain to you what the Bible says the reason we are uh, destroyed. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. My people are destroyed. You hear that? You hear that? Hosea is proclaiming that we are destroyed. Let's see how they destroyed. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. For a lack of knowledge. Do you understand what knowledge is? What's knowledge, brother? Knowing stuff. Now, a lot of our people are accountants. A lot of our people are bankers. A lot of our people know how to dribble a ball. A lot of our people know how to get money. Right? But that's not how we're destroyed. The Bible's going to explain how we destroy. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. This is knowledge. This is what we're destroyed from, right? And they should keep the and they should seek the law. The who? The law. The what? The law. We have to seek the law. Where? At his mouth. We are the priests. We're giving you the law. Where do we find the law? Where we find the law right here. Because no one has been doing that, showing you that today is the holy day, the Sabbath day. Nobody's been showing you that there must be order within the household, man marrying his wife. We are destroyed. Nobody's been showing you that. That's a law. You can't smoke. You can't get drunk. You are destroyed because you don't have the knowledge of God. That's right. Our communities are destroyed. People can come in our community and take over. And we'll just sit back and watch them. Because we got that dude on our brain. Right. We don't have the true image of God on our brain. We don't see each other as true gods. Alright? That's how we destroy it. Alright? Read that back in our... Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So you agree that that happened to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We had yokes of iron upon our neck. The Bible is talking to you, bro. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. And we are destroyed. That means this is not on our necks anymore. Look around. We don't have that on our neck no more. We destroyed because the destruction is up here now. We don't know who we are. You don't know that you are from the tribe of Judah. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians think that they are a byword. They are something else that America named them. 
You understand that African and American is two different names of two different white people? Bring it out. I, absolutely. Do the research. Who discovered this land? Who is this land named after? Bring it out. Amerigo Vespucci. They named this place after him. Amerigo Vespucci. Bring it out. They named this land after him. Bring it out. And they said that you are an American. You are what your father is. That's right. Amerigo Vespucci is not your father. You cannot be an American. You are an Israelite. From the tribe of Judah. The same tribe that our Lord Jesus Christ is from. The land named Africa is named after whom? You would think your father because you named African, right? Nope. Another white man. Leo Scipius Africanus. He conquered during the Punic Wars. The landmass called Africa today. You are not named after two white men. They lied to you. Why? Were they able to do that? Because we are destroyed. Nobody has taught us the knowledge of God. We are here today to teach you the knowledge of God. So that our people can stand up and actually live and not die. We've been dying for too long, brother. It's time for us to change. This new matter we got has not. Uh, giving us solutions for change. They actually open up the door for you to do more of what you want to do. And as a consensus, you've spoken and stated that you want to continue and remain in your sin. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.